These guys might make it look easy, but trying to control these cars is harder than you might think. But should it be considered a hobby or a sport? It's a million dollar question. <laughs> I think a lot of people would like to call it a sport. I think a lot probably do call it a hobby. <laughs> I'm behind hobby myself. Yeah. yeah. But does it require a lot of skill? It looks like it does when you're twisting around those corners at such speed. Oh, definitely. Yeah. A lot of people, a lot of kids will get a toy radar control car for Christmas and they can drive it around the back garden, put one of these in their hands and they won't be able to complete one lap. They can take years. If you've never, never driven one before, it can take years to, to get fully in control. They are fast and very, very fast to react as well. It's the end of the summer season for Carlisle Radio Model Car Club, but they've had a good one. We've, um, we've gained quite a few members this year, throughout the year. We have, there's been a steady stream of people. Yeah, it's made for some good racing as well. It's now quite close across all three, all it is. three classes. If you have a lot of members that have been here a long time, and they're all quite equal skill level, and everybody sort of falls into a hierarchy of their ability, and you can often run race days where nobody changes position all day. Whereas if you have new people coming along, practicing, getting better, and they improve, they move up through the field, and it gives seasoned drivers more of a challenge, if you will. Anyone who wants to get involved in the club is welcome to go down to their meetups, which happen in Brampton Community Centre through the winter. Between them, the drivers have a wealth of knowledge. You know, if you you can buy fairly simple ones that don't take a lot of main sense and don't take a lot of upkeep and are fairly robust. Generally, the the faster machines that, that really go quick and are at the cutting edge of competition, they're all made of carbon and alloy and they're generally quite fragile. And the upkeep on those can be a bit more intensive. But, um, Mini's probably the least upkeep. The minis are probably the simplest. They're mostly plastic, and they're you know they don't go that fast, so they're less likely to break things, and they're definitely easier to to keep running. Ken Cowens used to race about 20 years ago, and recently took it up again. Well, I love all types of motorsport, um, and I think anyone who is interested in any type of motorsport would love to do this. Um, it's actually the it, it's just the com competition. Um, the, messing with the cars, the setups and things like that, it's, it's really it's really good fun. Yeah. Anyone wanting to get involved in the club should look them up on Facebook and online. Freya Finley, that's TV.